Hey soulmates and welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Claudia and I'm here on my trip with my cousin Andrea who's behind the camera right now. I um, just wanted to give you a quick welcome to Whistler. So where we are right now is like the main village where all the shops and restaurants are. So we decided to start our trip by walking around and taking some photos. So the cutest thing, um, so we show up to the room and there's like this little bag sitting on the table and I am so impatient, I just wanted to open it but I just decided okay I'm gonna take out the GoPro and just film it and uh, see what's in it with you guys. So it says welcome Claudia and Andrea which is so cute, has a little Whistler sign on it. We have an envelope, we have some treats, oh my goodness. It looks like it has some nuts in them. Oh, they look so good. They're like a little paw. Adorable. Last but not least, just happened to be the order I took things out in. We got some sleeves for our phones, which is actually so useful because we didn't bring anything like this and we're gonna be doing um, some water activities later on. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. And then let's open the envelope. So just opened everything and I just have to give a huge shout out to Tanya at uh, Whistler Tourism. We're, we're gonna get to meet her uh, during our trip here because she helped us so much to plan um, everything that we're gonna be doing this week. Um, and who's better than the people who actually work at the tourism board to tell us what to check out here. And she just gave us this the sweetest little card just giving us a welcome and um, some gift cards to go check out some of the best places to eat, which speaking of which, we're gonna be doing a separate video just on food because that is what we get asked the most about all the time is like, okay, how was it? But where did you eat and where should we eat? So that's gonna be its own separate video. Make sure you don't miss that. We'll link it down below for you guys. And uh, I'll just leave it for you guys to check out. I won't even tell you what, where the gift cards are for, but they're the best places to eat around here for sure. spending the morning half of the day in the Scandinave spa and we just walked in and this is basically like a sanctuary technology free silent zone where you can just come and completely relax they have a cycle of hot and cold pools a series of saunas a hammock haven which we are super excited to check out so it's basically like a place to unwind totally relax and basically just like come out renewed refreshed a different person and the hot and cold cycle of pools basically just releases stress in your muscles and improves blood flow and it has so many health benefits and just being out in nature and like not talking and completely unplugging from everything has to feel so good from the society that we just live in today our culture is very go 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 so i just wanted to guys to show you guys the view is absolutely spectacular um so we have about an hour to show you guys what this place looks like before we have to put our cameras away Just leaving the Scandinave spa, we really ran out of time in there. Like the hour flew by. We tried to get as much as we possibly could to kind of capture the experience, but after we put the cameras away, um, we basically did the hot and cold cycle twice. 
um, so we went into the hot pool which was 40 degrees and then we went into the cold pool which was 15 degrees and honestly you guys it's freezing it feels so cold that 35 degree difference but it's so worth it like once you you go into the cold pool for only like five to 20 seconds or as long as you can handle it and it is so worth it because when you come out you feel so good like I can't explain it you have to do it like and from just the beginning when she was explaining the hot procedure like hot cold relax I didn't know how much like you would feel it after pretty but, sure like, we're going the wrong way are like where are we we're totally going the wrong way yeah no <laughs> <laughs> anyway um yeah this is an experience you have to you absolutely have to come to. yeah we we were talking about coming back totally. because i just feel so calm relaxed your skin feels amazing totally. we went into the steam room which has like aromatherapy in it oh my gosh it just like clears your it sinuses clears <laughs> it's just like so nice it was amazing um yeah. so we can't wait to be back highly recommend this experience you probably yes. need like half a day I would clear off at, at least, least half a day. Yeah, to and really she also enjoy it. I recommended to come during the winter, so I can imagine what the view is going to look like. Just completely white. It's must be gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. Let us know down in the comments below if this is something that you would do on a vacation. Yes. Because I get it. It's not everybody's thing. But if you want to relax, oh my god, amazing. Yeah, it's a must do. Yes. Yeah. So we're just literally locking up our spot and we are off to our zip lining adventure. We are so excited. We've heard literally from everybody that if you come to Whistler, this is like the one thing you have to do. You can get up to a hundred kilometers an hour, I think, on this thing. So we are so excited to be doing it. I think there's a series of zip lines. It's not just one, but uh, let's go check it out. Crazy, but the second zip line is longer so that means you go faster so you really have to take the time to like enjoy while you're going um, it's amazing the view the views are just crazy it's hard to believe that that's like it's very surreal. the place we live in <laughs> yeah it's very surreal just like it doesn't look real in the moment yeah. but, and then just take it all in once you're here it was beautiful out of the zip line super quick because my GoPro is literally almost dead because of all the stuff that I filmed for you guys to see um, amazing experience like it's surreal hard to explain what the view is like and what it's like like going down and like shooting yourself off of like some rope but my favorite one was Godzilla which is the third zip line um, it has like a big acceleration right at the beginning so we had a blast doing that one and uh, yeah, now we're gonna go on to the next thing. We decided to like crawl down that little side 
uh, hill that you guys would have seen. It was quite steep, so <laughs> I don't recommend you do that just for your own safety. Um, but we wanted to get some pictures down here and just enjoy the view. Like literally, look how close we are to the water. Like here I am, and literally the water is like right there. Our wetsuits on, got our shoes on. Now all we're missing is our helmets. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's just—I it, feel very secure. Yeah, very secure. This is a lot nicer because it's like quite chilly this morning. Um, it's about 10 degrees, 11 degrees, I think. Last time I checked, I don't have my phone anymore. Um, but I feel a lot warmer yeah, now. Like so this full, is full body suit, jacket, yes. shoes, and like jacket. And they provide everything. Um, so this is really nice. Watch out, Andy! A fish is gonna go in there. Watch out! We need to go water first. It's not a slide, my It can be. <laughs> What did everyone think of the rafting? It was awesome. Mahone, what did you think of the rafting? Oh my god, it was amazing. I would do it like in a heartbeat again. Andy? I loved it. It was yes. amazing. Let's go again right now. Yeah, and she didn't even want to go, so that says a lot. It was a lot of fun. Highly recommend doing that.
Please don't mind get caught in your hair. <laughs> There's one on your hand. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> okay, so we did it. It honestly didn't take that long once we started paying attention where we yeah. were walking instead of just being focused on getting shots. Um, so yeah, it probably, I don't know, you could probably get out in like 15 minutes you if could. you're just walking yeah. around. But um, definitely there's delays if you want to you know, have your own little photo shoot in there. It's and why wouldn't you? Because this yeah. place is gorgeous. And I love that over there they have like a small patio and it has a barn and just like hanging lights. It's so pretty, so picturesque. I'll get a shot of it before we go so that you guys can see it because this place is just absolutely gorgeous and definitely worth the drive um, out here and just get some like fresh air and yeah. enjoy a walk out Side. If you have the time, come. Do it. Really, it's it's an amazing experience, and just like the, it's it's really breathtaking. Like the the sceneries are not something that we're used to. No, not in Alberta day. anyway. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I mean, if you're not used to this, it's definitely worth coming to. So we just got to Nairn, Nairn Falls, I believe it's pronounced. We don't know if we're pronouncing that right, so yeah. we are so sorry if we're not. Absolutely. It's spelled N-A-I-R-N. Yeah. Yeah, so we actually took a little took a little detour, got to the wrong place first, but luckily got here. <laughs> and now we're hiking a little trail to get to the actual falls. Yeah. Very excited to see what it looks like. heading by back now sorry I'm just looking down because I need to make sure I don't trip there's like a lot of rocks here and uh, the walk to get up to the falls takes about 20 minutes and it was actually quite beautiful and it's impactful how loud and powerful it is so we're calling it a night and heading back to the hotel we're pretty tired and we're actually talking about something that we we thought we would just pull out the camera and talk about it with you guys because I think it's something really important when you travel and Something that happens to us all the time is because we okay. have such a packed schedule is that we normally like it just goes by so fast that we don't have even enough time to actually like savor in the moment like take it in breathe it enjoy. in think enjoy. about it I mean we do enjoy it but it's like you know just take a second and just like appreciate being like in the destination that you're at so we're taking this cold walk and just <laughs> instead of pacing back to the car and just thinking about the next thing we're taking our time and just really enjoying being here and the fact that we're so grateful that we're able to take a trip after a long hiatus due to covid so yeah like um, i want to remember this cold i want to remember the goosebumps like every break <laughs> that i'm looking at the mental yeah. full i am right now from the food like every yes it, it all it all counts you're gonna remember this like i was telling claudia a week from now I want to remember, like I want to be able to say I miss that freezing walk that we took after the Mexican border. Exactly, exactly. Now that we made it to the top, 
then now we actually get to go on the peak to peak which is right over there first viewing point that you get like right off when you get from the get off from the gondola and it is absolutely stunning we were just taking pictures up here what I would recommend is that you do bring a sweater for this even if it is summer and it's hot out just because of the altitude it does get quite cold up here it's not too cold um, but it is kind of chilly right now and um, we tried to get some photos in there but the reflection on the glass was really bad so hopefully the videos didn't come out too too bad just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like the engineering on this gondola is amazing if you guys read up on the website and read everything that went into it um, it is pretty cool so it is definitely a must do while you're here okay so we're just about done uh, exploring this area up here and we're gonna head back down so just wanted to give you one kind of last quick tour of basically what you can do up here so there's all kinds of trails that you can do unfortunately our schedule doesn't allow uh, for us to do those right now um, but I am sure they are beautiful and all of them are open except for one of them and then they range in difficulty level as well as in length of how long it'll take you to do them so you can just basically take a look and choose which one you would like to do which is pretty awesome and then there's also a cafe uh, well there's a restaurant and kind of like a food court right over there with like an awesome view so the restaurant is closed right now and then they have kind of like a cafeteria style where you can get coffee tea there's like washrooms and everything like that and you can still sit and enjoy the view you just can't enjoy the restaurant right now due to covid oh, last time at cougar mountain unfortunately but I don't know if we saved the best for last. I am honestly so excited about this. So we are here at Valley Illumina, or well, that's what we're going to be going to anyway. So it is basically like a walk in the forest, but at night and it has like a whole story behind it. And it is supposed to be a really magical experience because it has music and light show and like light projections. Anyway, we don't really know what to expect, but my family came on Monday absolutely loved it so we've heard nothing but good things about this yeah just finished walking through Valley Illumina and it is so beautiful and I don't know if the footage captured it very well in the camera because it was pretty dark in yeah. there if I don't manage to get a lot in there make sure you go check out our Instagram and click on our Whistler highlight reel you'll be able to yeah. see lots there and just kind of get an idea of how magical the experience was and uh, yeah I mean we got completely lost and immersed in that forest and in the story and we enjoyed ourselves so much it took about an hour pretty much to the T to walk through the whole thing and it just really depends on how long you stay and enjoy each scenery Definitely. It was so overwhelming how beautiful everything was. The lights just would capture every silhouette and the trees would just come to life literally at one point. Yeah. And you'll know if you come see and you'll see, of course, on the stories. And it's just it's definitely something that we would recommend you come to because it's just so stunning to watch. And if you're a nature lover, someone who just especially at night, it's so impactful just how everything lights up. It's honestly stunning. So, yeah, definitely come check it out. spent the morning here walking around the trails of Alta Lake and as you guys would have seen in the footage it is so incredibly beautiful but also really peaceful there's a lot of 
private properties and just houses that back into the lake and there's people like on little boats canoeing paddle boarding um, and all that stuff so it is definitely a very nice place to come and walk around the trails are absolutely beautiful and when the weather is like this like today it's the perfect time to come out here Sadly, our trip has come to an end, but before uh, we head on or we hit the road, uh, we decided to stop by in our very last place. And this is more of a photography spot if any of you are into that. So it's called a train wreck and it is basically a bunch of train carts that were left and they have graffiti all over them. So you do have to do uh, a small hike, I hope, um, as you can see behind me um, to get to the trains. I don't really know how long this is. It doesn't have any signs. You do have to GPS the location to know exactly where you have to pull over on Highway 99. Andrea's shoes were the best for this. <laughs> <laughs> she never okay the whole trip oh, she keeps saying God. i didn't expect a hike today when we plan like five hikes this is so incredibly beautiful i'm getting sleeping beauty forest vibes in here i just don't know how i feel when i get to a secluded place like this and we're like the only ones here i love it i just what if something happens <laughs> like like if there's a bear like we die i don't know Ah, uh, we also have no idea if we're even going the right way, you guys. Oh, like, no, there's, no. there's just, I don't know. Do this very steep. So we basically had this option, or we had that option. I don't know if you can see well with the sun glare of the rocks, but either one really sucks. And there's like that bridge up there, which is kind of cool she's opting for that method I'm, I'm just the crab crawl <laughs> okay if you see what i'm seeing there are massive cracks all right little update so we came across two people so far we asked them so the trains are indeed this way and apparently there's a lot of people there so excited I would like to, to see that <gasps> is that the suspension bridge This has to be a good sign, right guys? that I was telling you guys about. It is right behind um, the train wreck or in front, depending on which direction you come from. I have no idea how you come to the trains from that way. So I have no idea what that trail uh, looks like. So now we are going to head back to Vancouver so that we can fly out and head home. Thank you so much for watching our video, Soulmates. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below. See you in the next one.